Okay. Question number three. Let's just find the right page of my papers. It says there's three types, different types of Easter eggs. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. And they come in three sizes. They come in small, large, and king size. And we're going to start list all the possible combinations of chocolate and type. Well, the best way is to work logically. So, if you keep the milk chocolate, do all of the other combinations. So, do milk and small, milk and large, milk and king size. Only change one thing at a time. So, we've done all the possible milk ones. Now, do the dark ones. So, start dark and small, dark and large, dark and king size. Done all the dark ones, so we're working logically. And um, white ones. So, do white, small, white, large and white king size, and then we've just covered it all, okay? So it's always change just the first number, and then keep the first, sorry, keep the first number the same and change all the other ones. So one mark for each set of correct things, for each three. A box contains a number of each eggs. Uh, can, sorry, a box contains equal numbers of each egg. One box is chosen at random. So there's got all nine in a box. What's the probability that a milk chocolate egg is chosen? So milk small milk chocolate egg is just one out of the possible nine combinations we've got out of the possible nine things in the box only one of them so it's just a ninth nice simple easy question about probability banking marks in the, in the exam hopefully